Hey, what up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here with Common Sense and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to cartoon yourself or anyone who you ever want to cartoon. So first of all you want to find yourself an image of yourself or just someone in general who you want to practice on. So the first thing you want to do is select the image and then lower its opacity and then you want to start with the custom brush. I have a way how to make this brush in a, another video but it's real simple and easy. So you have to have a stylist to do this make it work and it's awesome so you just start off drawing the person and that's pretty much it you just continue drawing you make lines everywhere on the character that you're trying to draw and you can draw them to the precision the precise or you can just draw them a little bit outlandish making them look different in their own way now for me usually what I, I like to start with is the hair because the hair to me is the second most difficult part to draw and so you just make a lot of lines for hair for the follicles depending if they have curly or if they have straight hair and since the girl I'm working on right now is majority straight hair I'm just gonna do the thing and make it work out and it starts to come together and usually when I start with my drawing and stuff I like to use just a 0.1 or a 0.5 brush and then at the end of the video I like to just size it up to like a 0.2 or a 0.3 just because I like the way how it looks and probably the hardest thing for me to draw when it comes to working on a face or anybody's place is the nose I always struggle the hardest and it's just not fun but like I said earlier just keep on drawing the hair draw lots of black lines lots of follicles just to show that the hair is there and it just really emphasizes it when you put a lot of black stripes it shows depth and it shows curvatures and things like that and yeah and usually like people when they see even draw and things like that they always draw the lips full but I've learned from experience now that just drawing part of the lips usually looks better than drawing full lips just because it looks more natural and you can always color them in and things like that like that later and like I said um, the, the nose angle on this girl it's um, <laughs> not that easy uh, it doesn't look that right right now. It looks kind of like skeleton with how I'm doing it, but like I said, uh, the nose is probably the hardest part of any drawing in my opinion. Uh, then the hair, but that's pretty much what you have to learn from. You have to just keep on drawing, keep on working at it, and pretty much that's it. You just uh, you have to make your custom brush just to be able to get those nice smooth angles and make sure you have yourself a drawing pad and then just start drawing away. And this is a great way how to learn how to draw something too. If you don't know how to draw anything, just uh, trace over things. And eventually from doing it over and over again, you will become a master at it and start freehanding it without having no issue. And when you're drawing all this, you wanna make sure you're doing it all on just one layer, just so you keep it nice and organized as this is gonna be your top outline when you decide to put color into it. But in this video, I'm only going to do the outlining process instead of the full coloring process. I might throw that into a different video because coloring takes a long time. And there's a lot to talk about when it comes to coloring and shading in. But um, pretty much, just have fun with it. Keep on going at it, trial and error. That's the best thing about being an artist is that, you know, mistakes come across. And sometimes a mistake can be a good mistake. You might draw an awkward looking line and it might pop out and look real nice to you. So just keep on drawing, keep on editing it, you know, and don't worry about having like loose lines right away. Uh, you can always clean those up near the end of the, the process of doing your outline, make them look good, sharpen them up and things like that just to get that good look. And as you can see, this drawing is coming together and I have been ignoring this woman's nose because uh, like I said earlier, noses are, <laughs> they're not my forte, they're not my favorite thing to draw. But as you see, I keep on visiting the hair because I see lots of potential in this woman's hair. There's a lot of things I can do to it just to make it look fresh, make it look good. And so I just keep on drawing on it and drawing all these weird shapes, these flowy shapes because she has straight flowy hair. And in this video, I'm not gonna draw her full body. I'm only gonna draw just like her neck and a part of her arm. And then I'm gonna draw like drips to make it look like she's melting in a way is because that's a style that's popular and people like this style. And it just looks cool when you do this before you start adding color to it. And this girl has a really nice looking face and I just like drawing it right now. Like I'm a, and like I said earlier, just be a little bit creative with your drawing because you can do a lot of crazy things. Like you can do crazy things with the face. You can make it look like her face is coming apart, make it like a, it's like fractured or something. Maybe show some bone or whatever. You could do a lot of things with this type of art because there's 
so many ways how you can expand it and do different things like if i wanted to i can like make her skull like just did orientate it did shape it if i wanted to or like take a part part of her skin and show metal underneath maybe she's like a cyborg from terminator or something like that there's lots of opportunities and things to do but as you see right here it's just good to just experiment like you see what i'm doing with the drips i didn't like the drips initially so i'm taking them away and i'm going to restart them because i wasn't feeling them so that's what you got to do you got to experiment and play with it make it into the way you like it and eventually it'll become something great and with this image I'm liking it and don't forget to play with uh, the brush size settings because there's a lot of cool things that you can do with the brush sizes you can make things really pop out if you wanted to with the brush sizes and um, it's just a way to make things stand out but in this video I'm only gonna be doing just the outlining I might do the coloring in a different video depending on how well this video does just trying to get it going but uh, there's nothing much to it. Just got to really experiment and just practice. Practice makes perfect. Just keep on drawing, drawing every single day, creating every single day. And I create every day. I practice every day just so I can get better to better myself and for other people to become better and things like that. And uh, that's pretty much it, you know. Let me know what you guys think in the video and the comments. As you see right there, I just, I just made all the brush strokes a little bit bigger and it really just popped out on me. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know, diamonds, common sense out.